Here's another video of us opening some Ammonite nodules, similar to a previous video I've uploaded. These are also Dactylioceros tenuocostatum Ammonites. And towards the end of the video, we've got a stunning calcite nautilus to show. The nautilus that we're going to show is one of our favourite, and one of the first that we found. We've also got a pretty pretty large in comparison nautilus, which is also calcified, which I'll probably show in a future video if there's enough interest and people that would like to see it. This first specimen that we're showing is one we've actually already opened up. We opened it up a couple of years ago, and it's one of the specimens I took with me to put in my room at university. It had the edge of the specimen showing beautifully, and opened really easily. It revealed the specimen all the way to the centre of the ammonite, and is about as perfect as they come, really. A little bit of preparation could be done to reveal more of the specimen, but I just like leaving it as it is. As you saw there, Shea was getting on his safety glasses before starting to open the specimens. Keeping your eyesight safe is probably the most important thing, or at least one of the most important things to do when you're out at the beach. The other important things, of course, being staying away from the cliff and watching out for the tide times. We've got some nodules in this video that look quite similar. We'll get on and open them up and see how they go, and then we'll get on with having a look at the calcite nautilus as well. Opening these ammonites is incredibly fun, and if you would like a few ammonite nodules to open up yourself at home, drop my brother a message on his Instagram page, and he will get back to you with how you can go about getting some. If you do decide to get some, I hope you enjoy opening them, and thank you in advance for supporting our channel. We're just going to open up this final specimen and then we'll get on to having a look at that calcite nautilus.
Here's the little calcite nautilus. Pretty small as you can tell, but looks absolutely stunning. It's been polished brilliantly to reveal all of the calcite. Sometimes the nautilus are found with the shell still preserved, and that's pretty rare. Quite often, as in this case, the actual shell of the nautilus has broken off, revealing the calcified chambers underneath. So on this occasion, for this specimen, we decided to have the specimen polished. I really like the way it came out. It's definitely one of our favourite nautilus, but the ones with the shell preserved, whilst less shiny, are still equally as impressive. We've got now an Elegantiserus specimen, which has the sutures exposed, and is similar to the Nautilus in the sense that the shell of the ammonite is broken off and reveals what's called the cat's paw suture markings underneath. The specimen itself, where the shell has broken off, looks quite glassy. Really unusual to see the Elegantiserus like this. This is one of our most unique of this species. This is a rare lobster specimen. We actually prepared this entire specimen on one of our fossil preparation videos. Make sure to check that out if you would like to see the preparation of this specimen. And I'll also be making some other preparation videos of specimens to come. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video overall. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.